G'day, g'day, I'm Chase Oblanger EX, and today we're going to be reacting to What If You Fall Into a Black Hole by Kurzgesagt in a Nutshell. Uh, probably going to be very similar to the <laughs> What If the World Turned to Gold, as I don't believe this is a scenario that could actually take place uh, unless our universe gets swallowed whole. Uh, but if you do end up enjoying this video and you have not already, please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. Also, leave a like if you do end up enjoying because it helps the channel uh, do very well and reach more people, and comment your thoughts on this scenario and how likely it would actually be because I don't think it would uh, be very likely and if you have a suggestion for a video you would like me to react to by Kurtz Kazakh or anyone else really uh, drop it in the comment section below because I do read every single comment you guys know this already we love Kurtz Kazakh let's go what if you fall into a black hole by Kurtz Kazakh in a nutshell Black holes are the most powerful and extreme things in the universe and they're wildly weird and complicated mm. What would happen if you fell inside one, and what are they really? We've reacted to so many videos on black holes. First, especially by Kurtz, I think only by Kurtz, because like, we should have a decent idea of what they are now. <laughs> we need to talk about space and time. <clears throat> space and time mm. are the grand stage where the play of the universe unfolds. But space isn't a fixed stage, and time doesn't tick the same for everyone everywhere. Mm. In short, they're relative. Matter bends space, and bent space tells matter how to move. Put some stars and planets on the stage, and it sacks underneath them. That ah. misshapen stage, with all its little warps and dips, gives us gravity. Black holes do not just bend the stage, they're like trap doors. Places with so much mass <laughs> that the universe formed a no-go zone where the rules gotcha. change. Most black holes form when very massive stars die. And again, the analogies that they use, a trapdoor in the universe, like, it makes sense. Die. We explain. Most black holes form when very massive stars die. Mm -hmm. We explained this process in detail in our neutron star video. All you need to know now is that in the final moments of really massive stars, they're inside. Oh, that sound effect. Listen to that again. All you need to know now is that in the final moments of really massive stars, their insides <laughs> implode at base. nearly a quarter of the speed of light. Base. This packs so much mass so close together, creating something so dense that it sort of breaks the stage of the universe. Hmm. A black hole with 10 times the mass of the sun would be barely 60 kilometers across. If you look directly wow. at a black hole, it looks like nothing. The space. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't matter to me then, right? <laughs> Playing X. Under their control is blocked by an invisible one way border called the event horizon. The event horizon forms okay, a okay. shell around a region of space that, once entered, is shielded from the rest of the universe forever. Because the black hole trapdoor deforms space so much, not even light can escape it. And with nothing escaping to transfer information from the inside, it's impossible to tell what it really looks like. Hmm. We can still observe black holes because of their effect on matter. Things can orbit black holes just as they can orbit the sun or a planet. Many black holes have disks of matter orbiting outside the event horizon. This matter can become incredible. Well, yeah, because if it passed... Sorry, my eye is watering like crazy today. Oh, love being blind. So fun. Um, no. Uh, if it did pass that event horizon and got too close, surely it would just get kind of sucked into it, right? And just grow it? Pretty much feeding it. It's like a Gario if you've ever played that game. Incredibly hot, as close orbits can speed this matter up to half the speed of light, and tiny amounts of friction and collisions between particles heat them to a billion degrees, making the oh. space around <laughs> these black holes ironically a bit hot. incredibly bright. What would happen if you were to try to get close or even inside a black hole? First of all, you'd probably you'd die. See the strangest funhouse <laughs> mirror in the universe. Well, you'd probably be dead before you even got close. Nice. Matter isn't. First of all, you'd see the strangest funhouse mirror in the universe. Mm. Matter isn't the only thing orbiting a black hole. Gravity is so strong near them that light can orbit too. Uh, if you hover just really? outside the event horizon, at the light can orbit. That's, oh, that doesn't even seem possible. Photon sphere in any direction you just see yourself. Straight Damn. ahead would be the back of your own head, as light from your back travels around the black hole to your eyes. Wow. Gravity also alters That's the incredible. passage of time itself. The stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. 
While you watch the universe above you speed up, those far away will watch you in slow motion. If you chose to fly away from the black hole, you might find that eons have passed for the rest of the universe, a freakish one-way time travel trip to the future where your loved ones are long dead. <laughs> That's a bit rough, kurz gesagt. Yike. Getting close to a black hole can be incredibly dangerous. A painful death by spaghettification awaits you. Because your feet are closer to the black hole than your head, they feel a stronger pull of gravity, enough to pull you apart. Oh. As you descend, it gets worse. Ooh. The pulling gets stronger, your body squeezed thinner and straighter, until you've been reduced to a thin stream of hot plasma, gobbled up in one final slurp, never to be seen again. <laughs> Spaghetti I don't like spaghettification. Gobbled up in one final slurp, never to be seen again. Okay, I don't like that way of speaking, but... Plasma, gobbled up in one final slurp, never to be seen again. <laughs> Spaghettification is. I mean, it's kind of a good analogy, though, if you think about like a mouth sucking up spaghetti. I mean, don't. It's a uh, whatever. Not too late. It's a pretty gross image. Risk with smaller black holes, since they have much smaller radii. If you go to the center of a galaxy and find a supermassive black hole, you might be able to experience crossing the event horizon. As you approach the event horizon, a that's that song from Twilight, by the way. A distant observer would think they never saw you enter it, hole. seeing you stop <laughs> and fade. The last light you emit, trickling up and out, away from the event horizon. Meanwhile, from your perspective, the void of the black hole rises up to meet you as light from fewer directions can reach you. That sounds haunting. The blackness <laughs> envelops you until your only view of the universe you left is a tiny spot of light. Here, Gee. inside the event horizon, space and time are so horribly broken that real time travel is possible, so it's probably a good thing that nothing gets out. Yeah, agreed. If anything it's, it's like literally a prison from reality, if you think about it. Yeah, it's like a trap door. Like, you can't really escape it once you're in. And it's almost like you're locked, trapped, cannot escape from what even is in here. That's so, well, wow, it's interesting to think about. Thing could escape, it could create all sorts of time travel paradoxes and issues that break the universe. As scary as the event horizon is, it keeps us safe from that drama. Whether you have survived this long doesn't really matter, as now there's only the certainty of crushing death in your near future. <laughs> Inside the event horizon, space-time itself- Yeah, well, no, you wouldn't survive unless- No, no, no. No, this Crushing no death in your near future. Inside the event horizon, space-time itself is so bent and warped that whatever direction you move here, every forward you go leads only towards the center of the black hole. Well, so little Trying to even go matter. in any direction <laughs> only brings you to the center faster. To survive the longest, you must do nothing. In the center <laughs> of the black hole, we find the singular. That sounds so like counterproductive, but it's true. You must do nothing. Nothing. In the center of the black hole, we find the singularity. A single point with all the matter that has ever crossed the event horizon, all crushed to a point infinitely small. Oh. There is no memory of but is infinite really real in the universe? Don't know. The things that made it as stuff disappears down the black hole trapdoor forever. Because everything started at one point, right? Like time, the universe, black holes, they all started, so that means they're not infinite. So, you know, that's going too deep. Like, what was the first? You know, God? God created. So, it's him, man. The singularity makes all things equal. This actually breaks the universe in really cool ways. We've oh, made a video. Oh, is, is there a cool way you can break the universe? I mean, who knows? Maybe you can make like origami out of it. Do you about this? Out of, out of time and space. <laughs> problem if you want to learn more. Look, it's a swan. <laughs> but in a nutshell, everything that comes too close becomes black hole matter concentrated at the singularity. Mm. This lack of a memory of its past means that a black hole has only three properties. It's mass, spin, and electric charge. Everything else is lost. They're a lot like fundamental particles in that respect. This actually means that every single black hole in the universe is the same. Sure, oh. their mass is different, and some spin faster than others, but if we were to put all the singularities into a magical physics museum, they'd be identical, like electrons. Huh, I guess that's, but just like that's really interesting, actually.
boom learned something <laughs> but no that is very interesting that they are all the exact same just different like matters and stuff fundamental well, different um what masses i think he said is the only thing that you can differentiate them from all particles the and properties spin. of singularities are the best ways we can describe them on paper rather than an accurate representation of reality well yeah like when they uh try to justify the well not justify calculate is the word uh calculate the mass or size of a black hole they i think they use like their gravitational pull i believe and like the how it affects the things around them rather than actually studying the thing itself so i don't think they actually can because i can't see it so mm. our current theory- well they can but again not by it by studying it but how it affects is about the universe others. namely general relativity are just not able to describe or explain them and that's the thing, there are unexplained things of the universe that are unexplainable, and we have to live with the fact that there are things that cannot be even conjured by our minds. <laughs> uh, so, again, you can't even comprehend some stuff. The curvature of space becomes infinite, density becomes infinite, and our rules just don't make sense. <laughs> yeah. The singularity has no surface or size. You're outside the simulation. Like a divide by zero error in the universe. So singularities might not even exist or be completely different things. But this is all we know right now from the best prediction we have. Yeah, well, you're never going to have someone go in a black hole, escape, and then live to tell the tale. That's not ever going to. So the fact, the fact that they can make these kinds of videos and have it somewhat have somewhat of have it somewhat realistic <laughs> of what it would be actually be like because this is never going to happen uh same with the world turning to gold right it would be very interesting but again from our best happen. current theory of space time mm. also current notice how he says best current theory because again science changes its mind a lot Basically, everything you've ever heard about black holes, even in this video, is about theoretical black holes that aren't spinning because their maths is so much easier. Ah, but there since you go. black holes were born from dying stars that were spinning extremely quickly in their final moments, as far as we know, <laughs> all black holes in the universe should be spinning right now. At incredible speeds, too, up to 90% of the speed of light. Oh, boy. This means that in reality. They'd be going basically into like a blender as well. <laughs> Fun. Black holes are even more screwed up than they usually get credit for. The singularities of rotating black holes are even wilder. The rotation causes them to swell outwards into a sort of ringularity. This okay. rotation is so powerful that space itself is dragged along. This creates another region around spinning black holes called the ergosphere, where it's the impossible ergosphere. to stay still no matter how hard you try. Oh, wow. Like a rushing whirlpool of space-time, the tide is irresistible, and the black hole makes you orbit it whether you want to or not. <laughs> that would be so scary. Uh, okay, so possessed. what will happen to black holes as the universe ages <laughs> and dies around them? Again, we don't know, but we have some ideas based on our current understanding of physics. Hawking radiation. Stephen In quantum Hawking. field theory, the vacuum of space is boiling with quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations are creating matter and antimatter pairs of particles from nothing which only exist for a very short time before annihilating. Hmm. When this happens near the event horizon of a black hole, one of these particles can fall in, stopping them from annihilating. The escaping particle is Hawking radiation. Hmm. Ultimately, the mass of this particle must come from the black hole, so over eons, black holes will shrink and radiate away. Hawking radiation is not the okay. stuff that fell into the black hole, it's new stuff, stealing mass from it. <laughs> As the black hole shrinks, the Hawking radiation gets stronger, faster and faster, until what's left eventually evaporates in a flash of high-energy radiation like a nuclear bomb. <laughs> and then, nothing. Radio. But that won't happen for a long, long time. Mm. A black hole with the mass Everyone. of our sun has a lifetime of 10 to the power of 67 years. Which means hmm. that it would take 10,000 billion, 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 billion years to lose 0.000001% of its mass. Yikes. But most black okay. holes are way more massive than our sun. Ah, uh, the right, so they're not going anywhere. Any, no, just, no, they're not. <laughs> supermassive black holes in the centres of galaxies have lifetimes of 10 to the power of 100 years. Oh, How fun. long is that? 
Ja, wat Imagine mee. an hourglass filled with one grain of sand for every single particle in the universe. Every 10 billion years, one single grain of sand falls to the bottom. <laughs> I love how he doesn't even tell us how many billions and billions and then how many zero zero zeros that would <laughs> take from it. And he's just using a uh, hourglass analogy now. Love If it. we waited for all the sand to fall down, not even 1% of the lifetimes of these black holes would have passed. Uh, There is no good concept to help our geez. brains grasp these timescales. Will we ever truly understand black holes? Really know what's going on inside them? No one knows. No, we can I don't only think anyone ever will. Outside, and the theories we have probably get their insides wrong. But it's okay <laughs> to not know everything. It just means yes. there's... Again, there are unexplainable, unknown things. ...still work to be done. It means there are still mysteries to solve and big ideas to think about, which is why humans do science. In the end, <laughs> we can at least be sure that we still have plenty of time left to think about them before the last one melts away. Hmm. If you want to continue thinking about black holes, you can do so by getting one of the many... <laughs> What a weird thing. Imagine like you're eating lunch and you're just thinking about black holes. I mean, surely some people do, but I don't think that would be the... You know, maybe. I mean, there are definitely worse thoughts you could have than, than black holes. Like, I think there is a lot to think about. And I think thoughts that encourage new thoughts or more thinking uh, are the more interesting ones. But yeah, when it's something like this that you cannot get the answer to, it would frustrate a lot of people, probably including me. Any black hole-related things the Kurzgesagt team has made with love, like our black hole infographic poster that teaches oh, you all the nice black hole at. basics, or our choose your own black hole adventure poster that takes you on a spectacular ride and might leave you in need of a cuddle, in which case we've oh. made a black hole and white hole plushie. And if that's still not enough, we've also... <laughs> that's so... That's so cool, it's because like a black hole and a white hole plushie. Oh, yikes. Just released super comfy space socks, very shiny space pins, a new tote bag and pouch set, and we have many other wow. great space-related products that are all designed with love and care by us here at Kurzgesagt. Kurzgesagt. Getting something from our shop beautiful. is the best way of supporting Kurzgesagt while getting something beautiful in return. Because of you, we can keep making elaborate videos like the one you just watched and release them for free for everyone. Mm. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Kurzgesagt. Your content is terrific, phenomenal, amazing, superb, brilliant, great. That was What If You Fall Into A Black Hole by Kurzgesagt in a nutshell. Uh, apologies if I couldn't add enough. <laughs> Again, uh, black holes are definitely not something I know a lot about. And from this video, it sounds like no one really knows, at least the inside of one. Um, but it was very interesting. I learned some stuff, which was really cool. Um... What did I learn? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that light can orbit uh, a black hole and that it is like a trapdoor in the universe. So, you know, a, a few things that I'll learn and I'll rewatch this video uh, to make sure I learn more uh, on this topic so I have more to add. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you did end up enjoying that, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Leave a like if you did end up enjoying as well and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at chyznz and join my Discord server. All links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Chase or Blanga Reacts. I'll see myself out.